Mind your step, sir. There must be a way out somewhere around here. My goodness! This tunnel has led us right under the canal. Ooh, fancy that. Gavin, you look different. Oh, you have an eye stuck to your face. Another clue! An eye for an eye. That's not... An eye for an eye. Oh, are you an angel? No, I am Bertram Fiddle, leading Victorian explorator. Oh, I'm Norris, and I'm a bit down on me luck, mister. Me good lady wife threw me out on account of me tuneless whistling. Said it were driving her to distraction, she did. Oh, poor you. Indeed, sir. Now I'm sat here in this tub, a pondering the meaning of life. Will this be of any use? Oh, I bet that cost a pretty penny. But I fear it would lead me astray. Evening, sir. I am on a hunt for the fiendish villain known only as Jeff the Murderer. Have you seen anyone suspicious pass by? No, sir. I've been too busy sweeping up other people's mess, sir. It's gonna take me ages to sweep all this muck up. This broom just isn't powerful enough for me. It makes me right angry, it does. Especially now I have to use this feeble broom. If only my newfangled automatic sweeping machine hadn't broken. What a marvellous machine! Coming of a man of my standing to be rooting through dustbins. A jar of gruel, a rubber sock. Ooh, what's this? A cork. What a fearsome gargoyle. Reminds me of my mother. Hello, I'm on the trail of Jeff the Murderer. Can we come in? Did Sir Bruce send you? Uh, yes. Prove it. Hmm, that won't work. An outside meditation chamber. Ooh, someone's been meditating a lot. There's a rat in the toilet. What am I going to do? Look at its fangs! I don't want to make it angry. It's too precious. What a fearsome gargoyle! Enjoying a good soak, I see. I'm a man of simple pleasures. May I borrow your tin bath? It's all I have left, sir. I wouldn't part with this for the world. I'm not going down there again. You go as good as new. Oh, thank you, sir. With my contraption back at my command, I'm capable of anything. Who knows what I may become? 
Time to clean up this muck and make everything immaculate. 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 Hello, gentlemen. You're not from around here, are ya? Do you see anything you fancy? Oh, I'd love a bit of muffin. You fribbling nitwits! How dare you! How rude! She threw her muffin at me! I'm not going to eat something that's been on the floor! I'm not an animal! Oh, what a beautiful turnip you have there! Leave my turnip alone! Oh, it's my beautiful baby turnip. They call me Poggy Mary. Cause I'll poke ya with this. Oh, she will as well. Look what she did to my hat. I will poke ya. Yeah, yeah. We don't like your sort around here poking your noses in. You poke your noses in here, I'll poke you in the nose. Don't go waving that about, cos I'll keep poking holes in it! We're closed. No one crosses the bridge after dark. It ain't safe. But I need to get across. I am on very important business. Sorry, mister. Since the murdering started happening, we always shut it at night to keep the rascals out. Can't you just open it a little bit? It's more than my job's worth. I'm off home for a nice plate of kippers. You'll have to come back in the morning. Oh, Fudge, what shall we do now? We're going to need a bigger boat. And be sweepable. An ensemble of reeds. If only there was a way to get to the other side. No, that won't mix. No, that's not go- And be sweepable! Will this be of any use? This thing's as tuneless as I am. Only plays one note. Oh, a muffin. Not for me, sir. Too rich for my blood. I don't want to make it angry. Here, Ratty, Ratty! Hmm, good for reaching awkward places. Nah! I'll get enough of that at home. What? That pen and ink set does? Ooh! No. Most unbrushworthy. Most unbrushworthy. I 
I have this enormous diamond ring. They aren't listening. No, that's not going to work. Unbesweepable. No, that... Afraid not, sir. Hmm. I can't reach that far. Yes. I'll poke his eye out, I will. You've pierced my reed. Will this be of any use? Oh, thanking you kindly, sir. I'm going out to whistle my wife back. Stay on this side and keep a lookout. We can't reach it from here. Most unbrushworthy. Yes. Hold on, sir. This won't take long. A bit faster. We haven't got all day. Yes. Now lower the bridge. Certainly, sir. Ah, the simple solutions are the best. Ooh, it's all sticky. We have a saying in Peru, a web in the hand is worth two in the bush. Excuse me, young whippersnappers. That eyeball belongs to me. Find his keepers, mister. We saw it first. If you want it, you'll have to beat us at marbles. Well, I used to be rather good at this game when I was a lad. You can't play unless you've got a marble. We don't make the rules, mister. I'm keeping this gigantic... a lovely colour. That's my rouge for giving my cheeks a pinkish glow. Do you like them, my cheeks? What a proud and noble beast. We want a lollipop, we want a lollipop. The Pearl of Minimoto. What an opulent treasure. I wonder if I could borrow it for a bit. Check out the size of this marble. Ha <laughs> ha! Cool! 
Oh, that's a shiny one, isn't it? You win, mister. You win. What a banana. <laughs> I say, come back with that. How did that get here? The final piece of the puzzle. Face puzzle thing. An eye for an eye. and Willisant are in the naughty cupboard because of what they did to that poor old man. No treats for them. What are you doing, sir? Who are you, and why are you in my house? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Bertram Fiddle, leading Victorian explorator, and currently I am hunting down the true identity of Jeff the murderer. Perhaps you know of him. What are you accusing me of? You'll have to excuse my husband. He's been under a lot of pressure lately. He is a very sensitive man, aren't you, Bruce? Ever since the accident, when my parents died in the most suspicious of circumstances and left us this house and untold wealth, he's been very tense. I kept hearing voices. Terrible, persistent voices. You used to attend those seances to try and find tranquility, didn't you, dear? With that curious medium, what was she called? Madam Blackheart. Used to visit her every week, but now she's on the other side. <gasps> you mean she's dead? No, on the other side of the canal, a less lubrious part of town. I keep meaning to see her, but I... I have a lot on my mind. May you hold on one moment? I'm busy attending to my clockwork farm. It's very enchanting. Is that your father, Sir Bruce? He looks a formidable fellow. Oh. oh, the cobwebs are all stuck to my brush. No. some candy floss. That doesn't look like candy floss. It's the wrong colour. Mmm! Now it looks edible enough to eat. Ta-da! Candy floss. Daddy can't grow a real moustache. Like giving fake candy to a baby. This candy floss tastes funny. You tricked us. We don't like to be tricked. of Jeff the murderer. Can we come in? Did Sir Bruce send you? Uh, yes. Prove it. 